crypto heaven in Nevada. In 2011, Bitcoin hit $1 for the first time. 10 years from then till now, Bitcoin has seen an increase of 4,559,900% increase. That's an incredible upgrade. The rise in value isn't only attributed to Bitcoin alone. Other cryptocurrencies experience the same fall or increase in value from time to time. Are currencies and markets that are public that the public can influence? Because they exist outside the influence of Wall Street or the proper channels of trading, people have clung to the idea of trading it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you won't miss any of our new videos each week. Today, we'll be talking about Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. We'll be examining a new wonder of the world that is about to spring up out of the desert. Nothing of its kind has been done and it is all going to be made possible because of the existence of a company with a relatively short history, blockchain. What does Blockchain LLC do? Blockchain is a cryptocurrency blockchain explorer service. Blockchain is headquartered in Luxembourg. They serve customers globally and have their website translated into several widely spoken languages. Aside from the initial service, they also serve as a cryptocurrency wallet for users to keep their cryptocurrencies. Blockchain provides market information, data charts, and statistics of Bitcoin. They also run a cryptocurrency exchange service that supports Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin Cash. The current CEO of the company is 56-year-old Jeffrey Burns. Jeffrey Burns is a lawyer and millionaire who got rich through crypto. The company was launched on October 30, 2011. Blockchain.com was founded by Ben Reeves, who had been a founding member at Coinbase. But because of his different opinion concerning the future of Coinbase, he left to start his own company. Cryptocurrency is not a widely accepted legal tender. So cryptocurrency exchange platforms like blockchain.com have faced some challenges. In February 2014, Apple Inc. discontinued the blockchain.com app on the App Store for no given reason. Only after users in the Bitcoin community took to the internet to vent their displeasure was it added back later that year. Before we jump into what the blockchain city is meant to be, we need to understand what cryptocurrency is and how it works. Cryptocurrency is not issued by a central authority, and it exists outside the normal existing monetary channels. Cryptocurrencies use a decentralized system, unlike other financial institutions that use a centralized system. Cryptocurrency is a digital property that is designed to work as a form of legal tender. Individual records of transactions are stored in a computerized ledger that is protected with strong cryptography. The cryptography is also used to create additional coins and is used to verify individual ownership of these coins. It doesn't exist in physical form and cannot be spent physically. Bitcoin is the first decentralized cryptocurrency and since then, other forms of coins have been created. Crypto Heaven in Nevada Since the creation of cryptocurrencies, central authorities worldwide have struggled to accept them as a legal form of tender. Several restrictions have been placed on cryptos here and there. An example is the plan to transform Puerto Rico with the aid of cryptocurrencies. This plan has been frowned upon by the central authorities and is seen as a move to take advantage of the island's status as a tax haven. The CEO of Blockchains LLC has envisioned constructing a smart city in Nevada where the only legal form of tender accepted there would be crypto. The operation of the smart-like city itself would be based on blockchain technology. Jeffrey Burns has said that he has never had so much belief in a technology that would change the balance of power back to the people instead of big corporations and Wall Street in his entire life and his career as a lawyer. In support of this belief, he brought an estate of 67,000 acres in Nevada, and the estate is said to be roughly the size of Reno or even bigger. He purchased the estate for a whopping sum of $170 million. His dream is to build a crypto heaven where cryptocurrency can be freely spent. It's believed that since the current form of banking is centralized, people don't have control over their data or money. 
Jeffrey Byrne aims to create an environment where people can control their financial data without relying on the government or institutions to do this. The Blockchain City The Blockchain City is still a large developing estate that contains nothing but digs and surveyors and architectural plans. The Blockchain City is to be built with the use of blockchain tech in mind. The technology would be used to build a local infrastructure that would be based around digital currency. This infrastructure would be designed to be free from invasive privacy practices. Blockchain LLC promised to recruit over 1,000 employees before the end of 2020. But the company has gone back on its word to say that that number was not feasible and it wouldn't work. Rather than employ more people, they have laid people off. Blockchain LLC has defended its actions by saying that they only let go of people no longer relevant to its development. Despite all of these developments and the retrenchment of a sum of its workforce, Blockchain has said that their crypto heaven would still be built. The Blockchain City is going to be called the Innovation Park. The city is created to be a place for businesses and ventures and supports them by utilising blockchain technology. The smart-like city is going to be the new kind of business and residential community. The city is intended to be used as the backbone for a new urban environment. This environment will include many typical environments like schools, houses, offices, and even parks, but would be high-tech and would run using blockchain technology. Architectural design and structure of the blockchain city. The design has been handed over to two Los Angeles-based architectural firms, Ehrlich Yanai Reed Cheney Architects and Tom Wiscombe Architecture. The city is planned to be highly secured and is also intended that the city would integrate blockchain technology with artificial intelligence. Aside from these technologies, 3D printing would be implemented as well as nanotechnology. The plan also includes creating a serene environment in the desert climate. The architectural firms in charge have released some renderings of what the city would look like. Although the final plans are yet to be released, the current plans show low-lying buildings and towers spread across the making of a mini metropole. It has provision for residential units and various commercial buildings for business, retail and financial institutions. The buildings are designed to be integrated into the environment to balance the climate and the design environment. The blockchain city would be utilising renewable and clean sources of energy. Renewable energy like solar, recycled and reclaimed water, wind-generated power or wind turbines would also be used. There are also plans to use autonomous and electric vehicles in the city. Advantages of the blockchain city. Greater privacy control. The blockchain city would offer its inhabitants greater control over their privacy. Every interaction in the city would work based on decentralised blockchain infrastructures. Occupants of the smart city would be able to vote, store data and bank outside every one of the usual channels without including third parties. This kind of system offers guaranteed transparency because you are in control of your data. It would also be very efficient and sustainable. Blockchain technology would be at the centre of all interactions without centralising any of the data, but would keep every system honest, fair and grant them democratic power. Become a pioneer for crypto tech. The actualization of the blockchain city would mean that other smart cities could follow in its footsteps. The idea of the blockchain city could also help to integrate blockchain technology into real life applications. There are other smart cities in the works proposed, and Blockchain City is just one of many. Although each of the city's aims and purposes might differ, they are all implementing new technologies. Advancement in one could mean a greater improvement in the cause of the other treading the same path. So, if the Blockchain City comes alive, it could be an example and a platform for other similar cities and technologies to follow. The Blockchain City's construction aims to demonstrate how business, residential living and commerce can integrate and develop together. To do this, working with an already built system could mean a complete overhaul of the entire system. So starting with a clean slate is very important. 
Trying to integrate the blockchain technology into the existing systems would be like trying to insert smart technologies into devices that are not smart. The blockchain city is surrounded by big tech giants like Tesla, Google and Apple. Unlike some other cryptocurrency technology, Jeffrey Burns is privately funding this entire project from his pocket. He has spent an initial amount of $170 million on acquiring the 67,000 acres of land. He has also spent about $300 million developing the land. His investment into this project is money that he made from investing in Ether, a cryptocurrency powered by blockchain. We can all be the next Jeffrey Burns if we know the right currency to invest in. What do you think currency will look like in the next 20 years? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.